2023 Land Yachts. Yachts. Go! The 2023 Land Yachts lineup is here, and we're excited to present one of our best lineups ever, with a mix of our all-time favorites and a ton of fresh produce. We're going to break down each one of our categories to make choosing your next board as easy as possible. What are the categories again? Cruiser, Longboard, ATV, Dance, Surf Skate, Downhill and Freeride. Everyone must know this by now. Just say the line. Okay, fine. As usual, our team of experienced skaters and passionate engineers have developed all of our products to work together, creating perfect, complete setups for every style of skating. First category. Let's start with cruisers. We've been making compact cruisers for 25 years with the goal of having amazing everyday performance in compact packages for everyday use and exploration. Everyone's all-time favorite, the dinghy, is available in five slightly different shapes. This is the classic. The dinghy classic with fatty hogs, a great all-around cruiser. It is the dinghy setup that everybody knows. It's got a nice concave, keeps you comfy, very nimble, a staple of the Land Yachts lineup. It's an ultimate cruiser. The Dinghy Classic Fender that's able to run larger 72 millimeter Plow King wheels because of the additional fenders. This is a fan favorite. Great new graphic this year. Real good for high speed cruising. Very portable. Great for rolling fast and over top whatever gets in your way. Here's the Dinghy Blunt, a wider version of the Classic. Slightly smaller 60 millimeter chubby hogs make tricks and sliding easier. And slightly wider 130 millimeter polar bear trucks give it added stability. Check it out, man. It's got the Meow Awana graphic, man. Check it out. The Flamingo is the newest blunt graphic. Did you know a group of flamingos is called the flamboyance? Check it out. The dinghy coffin has a stylish shape. It's nimble and has a great nose to keep your foot locked on the front. Here's our latest graphic, the Coffin Fish. I like this graphic. I think this is probably my favorite graphic in the lineup. What do we got here? Whoa, it's got the reef graphic, man. The Dinghy Shape 9 looks amazing with the reef graphic. Big wide tail. This board is compact, but still has tons of functionality. This fat tail shape has developed a cult following after the all-time shred master, Steven Vera, showed us how capable the shape is in multiple videos. There he is! Whoa! Steven Vera, man! The tugboat is a dinghy that's been stretched out in every direction. It's been one of our most popular cruisers for years. This one's sick. It's like a, it's a wolf flames and stuff all over it. I like this graphic. If you want a cruiser that can carve a little harder, check out the tugboat ultra carve. Instead of traditional kingpin trucks, it runs our Gen 6 Grizzly Reverse Kingpin trucks for an extra turny, fun ride. Oh, it's the raft. It's got a new graphic this year. It's got the 130 millimeter Polar Bear trucks, half inch risers, which fends off all chances of wheel bite, is excellent for carving. Now this board's very tall, and it really leans nicely. Great pop, and it's super wide, so it's good for bigger people if you're taller. It's a nice all-around cruiser. We love the raft. Whoa, ditch life. We moved the ditch life into the cruiser category because we found ourselves using the generous platform and crisp concave for everyday cruising just as much as sessioning skate spots. Very good for beginners. I love to use the ditch life in the skate park, cruising bowls, slashing the coping, sliding, downhill carving. That's my jam. The Ditch Life has an old school vibe to it. Directional shape, square tail, round nose. We're really excited about the graphics this year, which is a dyed veneer underneath a black foreground. That looks better the more you skate it. As it wears away, it reveals the dyed veneer underneath, which looks really cool. The Slim Jim has a wild new graphic. This stretched out, lightweight cruiser has chubby hogs for good grip, but also a little bit of slide when needed. Because of the slim shape, full nose and tail, this cruiser is a favorite among people with a more traditional skate background. This is the Jammer. The Jammer's got a really unique shape. It's got a wide front and a real nice wide tail. Very nice for turning from your front and having a little bit more stability with it being narrow in the back. 
New board alert. What do we have here, everybody? It's called the Schooner. Yeah, the Schooner was in our lineup a few years ago. It was a team favorite because of the longer wheelbase, making it more comfortable and faster for cruising and urban shredding. This Schooner is completely refreshed with premium construction. Four plies of maple and two plies of triaxial fiberglass, making it slim and light. It's a snappy flex that acts like a suspension to create a smooth ride. It's sort of a cruiser board that acts like a longboard. With some easies, it'll bust out big slides. But wheel flares enable it to run bigger wheels for a smoother ride on any terrain. Made at our Burley Specialty Factory in small, limited runs. So pick one up while you can. They won't last long. What if you have like a chef hat on or something? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Let's talk about longboards. Bigger boards built for carving and offer lots of stability. The drop hammer, perfectly balanced. Symmetrical shape, nice mellow concave. Wheel bike cutouts right here, drop through mounted, really low, really good flex, excellent for any type of transportation, especially if you wanna go fast. If you're doing lots of 180s, this is the perfect board for it. Just enough wood behind the truck that you can nicely kick it up into your hand. Available in a bunch of different graphics, including the brand new Sun Fox. It's red. The Battle Axe is one of the oldest boards in our lineup, and for good reason. This thing is a carver. It's a cruiser, it's a slider, it's a dancer, it's whatever you want it to be. It's got this awesome concave where it's really mellow, and the board kind of gets wider towards the front, so you get a lot of weight on your front foot in this thing, and you really get aggressive carves out of it. We've added the new forest graphic. This black finish looks badass, if you ask me. Born from the idea of taking our deep turning cruiser truck and wheel combos and setting them up on slim longboards came the Ripper and the Dipper. Ready? Ready to rip. The Ripper ripped rip, down rip, to rip, town rip. on this bad boy. This kicktail gets you off any curb. This concave just really feels right. It's a great carver, slightly wider than the Dipper, trucks to match, 130 mil polar bears, 63 mil fatty hogs, versatile cruising longboard. How about that nice new graphic? The moon graphic. This thing can be set up with easy hogs and with that nice wide foot platform, it's great for sliding. If you're a beginner, it's very easy to ride. If you're a shredder, very easy to push this thing to its limits. Compare that to the dipper, it's good to, oh. The Dipper is the Ripper's slightly different cousin. It's a narrow pintail that some have dubbed the best board ever. A fine board for any Sunday, or Saturday, or weekday, really any day you want. Cheers. The Dipper. Just a touch of rocker, narrow cut, pintail. This thing's real fast. Well, even though it's got narrow trucks, it's still real stable. It's got the same trucks and the same wheels as the dinghy class, the 105 millimeter polar bear and the 63 millimeter fatty hog. The dipper. Let me tell you folks, this thing, this is a cool graphic. The big dipper is back again. Huge flexi pintail for massive carbs and turns out it's great for dancing too. It's gotta be one of the biggest boards we make. It's a true longboard. It's got a very mellow concave for ultimate comfort. It's matched up with the doozies, so you get a little bit of extra grip. It's a very predictable slide, and the long wheelbase gives you a lot of control. Combine the setup with the nice gradual flex on this thing, and you've got an amazing carver. For those looking for a hybrid longboard, look no further than the Rallycat. We combine some of our favorite longboard features with our favorite skateboard features. Wheel flares, rocker, kicktail, nice nose, concave, easy slide wheels, polar bear trucks. It's all of the features you would want in a longboard, combine that with some nice street skate feel for a true hybrid. Gotta love the rally cat. Drop cat is back again. 
but with a very cool new graphic. This ultra rocker board is super easy to ride. The lowered platform makes pushing feel great. It's available in two sizes, a 33 and a 38. 33 for a super nimble compact ride and the 38 for people who prefer a bit more board under their feet. It's got a lot of different features that make it very unique, perhaps one of the most unique longboards in the world. Very aggressive rocker, and it's got a little bit of flex, which helps for carving. The stiffness is just enough that you can really slide this thing nicely in the concave, holds your feet in place. The wheel flares give you a good reference, so you always know where your feet are on this board. Drop through mounting, wheel bike cutouts, slightly directional. I've got this one set up with some hollow hangers. These are the Gen 6 Titanium Pro. Titanium axles, titanium kingpins, and a hollow hanger. These trucks are a great matchup for the drop cat or anything that goes with 180 mil trucks. Breaking news. We have reports of a brand new longboard for 2023 called the Top Cat. We're going to go live on the scene for more with Alex. So Alex, what can you tell us about this shocking new development? I'm here with the Top Cat in hand, and let me tell you, this thing is a work of beauty. Great graphic, excellent shape. It has these beveled edges that even make holding it feel great. Now other than the difference in name, what can you tell me about what makes this board different from the drop cat, Alex? The big difference is, the top cat is top mounted rather than drop mounted. So it gives you extra leverage for those nice deep carves. This board doesn't have wheel flares, but it has these amazing drops, which help keep your feet locked in and even help you know where your feet are on the board. Combined with this amazing rocker, it makes a great free ride board. It's even good for downhill and pushing long distances. It just feels so comfortable. And are those different trucks that I'm used to seeing there, Alex? That is correct. This board comes with 155 millimeter Gen 6 reverse kingpin trucks. They're a lot more nimble than the 180 millimeter trucks, so you'll be able to turn this board on a dime. Don't forget about these 72 millimeter Plow King wheels, which keep you rolling fast and over anything in your way. Wow, fascinating stuff. We'll have to keep following this story as it develops. Now, back to our regular scheduled dance category. Dance. The dance category is where you'll find the best boards for busting a move, but also larger boards that are great for casual cruising due to their stable size and added kicktails. You can spin, you can dance, you can bust some moves, but you can also get around town and use the dancers as a cruiser. The Stratus is one of our biggest boards and has twin kicks for popping tricks and no grip tape in the middle for easy spins. It's just a big boat. It's like a longboard with kicktails. Symmetrical, great for carving, great for sliding, great for cruising, it does it all and a lot of fun graphic options available. The Tony Danza is our most compact dance board for those looking for a smaller board to toss around. And don't forget about the Big Dipper's identity crisis as a dance board. Whoa! We're gonna talk about surf skates now, man. Cowabunga! Our surf skate category is our way of bringing surf style riding to anyone, regardless of whether you live near the waves or not. We wanted to make boards that give you a super tight turning radius, but still has the capability to do tricks and handle a bit more of speed. For such a carvey board, this thing has incredible stability. And whether you're on a pump track or a hill, this thing will keep you solid and it's incredibly nimble at the same time. The uniquely designed Bear Banger truck and the 65 millimeter wheels give the surf skates a feel of their own. All of the surf skates have soft top grip tape and comes with four unique models. We've got the Groveler, the Pocket Knife, the Surf Life, and the Butter. These puppies definitely carve, to say the least. Now we're gonna talk about the ATV category. The ATV category is where you'll find classic skateboard shape setups for cruising and tricks. The way we set these things up is with soft wheels so that you can get around town easily and they unlock spots that might be off limits with hard wheels. The all wood versions 
dampen vibrations, and I usually suggest the non-fiberglass ATV if you're doing a lot of commuting. For the fiberglass version, it's got premium pop, premium stiffness, great durability, and if you're doing lots of tricks or getting tech, then the fiberglass versions are for you. The ATV Classic is our most traditional twin kick shape with two rad new graphics. This comes with the little easy wheels on it, and these are pretty much just like a regular skateboard wheel, but a lot softer. So they're a lot smoother for cruising through rough pavement all over the streets, and also smoother for sliding. These wheels are lots of fun. I ride them a lot. Oh, perfecto! The perfecto, with its big, slightly pointed nose and tapered tail, we got a bunch of sweet graphics, including a rad throwback with a space pug. Look at him, he's so cute. Give him a pet. You're gonna wanna pet this graphic when you get it. It's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> if you want a bigger board with some character, make sure you check out the Stone God. It's got these ripply rails, and these things are wild. This board is one of a kind. Keep an eye out for fresh graphics throughout the year. Things are going downhill now. Downhill free ride. This is where our most stable boards are. Great for sliding and reaching higher speeds. It's a switchblade. It's low to the ground for ultimate stability. And that also makes it a great board for long distance pushing, commutes. You loosen up the trucks and you can carve this thing like a dream. This thing is a slider, it's a carver, it's a cruiser, it's a high speed, it's a switchblade. If you like the switchblade, but you want a bit more agility, then check out the fixed blade. It's a stiffened, more nimble version of the switchblade. The free dive is a free riding machine with an added kick tail when needed. This board's great, it has a lower platform and it's a little bit lower to the ground. So you can really sit into your slides and feel really comfortable while sliding and riding this thing around town. I've skated this board a lot. It's, it's really fun for just doing big stand-up slides. The free dive comes with maple fiberglass construction so that it's extra stiff. This is the Blaze. I designed this board. It has my first car on it. It was a PT Cruiser with flames on it and then it has all these little guys having a beautiful time. It has a maple and fiberglass construction as well as some carbon fiber stringers in there. It has a round drop in the front and a flat drop in the back and it really locks you in for downhill and free ride. You can put small 120 millimeter Smokies on here and race it and take tight turns and rip it around the race course or you can put 155 Gen 6s on it and free ride and do giant slides. <laughs> The insanely stable Evo is back with two sizes and two graphics. The Evo has won seven world championships, but our other race boards may catch up soon. We've also got three top mount race boards. World champion Dane Hanna's El Peligro, Dexter Manning's Small Blind, and legend Kyle Martin's Obsidian. These boards are for riders looking to push their downhill skating to new levels. So, that's the lineup. As always, We'll have a few other boards releasing later in the year, but we're not going to ruin the surprise just yet. Make sure you stay tuned to all of our socials and sign up for our newsletter to get exclusive special deals and never miss out on a new release. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I'd say it's time, time for escape. escape. Is it filming still?